Hi, welcome to Katibu 5 video tutorial. Again, the multi-section surface, but another option, the spine curve or central curve. Please note it's a spine and not a spline. I will provide a start step file on my GrabCut account and you can down it, download it right there. I will leave a link in the description so you could follow this exercise. Now I want to have some more profiles so I will duplicate this one and that one. There are many ways to do it. I will use this tool here, translate that profile along that direction and maybe 40 millimeters like this. Okay, same with that circle. Of course, you could do a new circle, doesn't really matter. So I want to use this one along that direction and maybe 20 millimeters in this direction like this and confirm. Now to show you how that spine will work I want to use a multi-section surface and just use this circle and that circle to demonstrate you how this works. So if you go for preview you will get a surface like this but if you add that spine curve you will get this really nice shape here. Now I want to use those as well, but to arrange those closing points, it might be a better idea to, those, to do those closing points beforehand, because I will show you what will happen. Let's add another profile, this one. No, not this one, sorry. Remove this one here add that one here, this one, this circle and that circle. So I want to move that closing point. Not quite possible. I could because I'm right there on the last one. So if I want to edit this one, that's possible. I could go for X component direction for a minimum because I want to have one here. Confirm this and let's see if I can do one here as well. I can remove it and then do a new one but that's a little bit too complicated. So I will do some extreme points beforehand. That's easier to do. So go for no points but extreme points and that would be on this element go for X component, that's the direction, go for minimum and confirm. Same here, X component, minimum, OK. Over there, minimum, X component, direction, yes. And here, minimum, X component, direction. So. I could add here one as well, just in case I need one. So go here, go for X component and again a minimum and confirm and cancel this out. So now let's see if this works. So go for this circle, that circle and add the spine already like this. Now add another profile, this profile, that profile, this one and that one. So I want to move, let's see, this closing point over here, that closing point over there this one over here and I might not change this one and see what this looks like. So this doesn't work, so I will get a problem here. Okay. 
So let's see, I go there and that's kind of sad because the first was quite good. So I maybe, just maybe, remove those and do it in two steps. Why not? Remove and remove this one and that's okay. Let's take a look. Yeah, because this looks really good. So confirm that one. Now let's do this with the second one. Let's start maybe here and use this one as support. Then go here, over there, this one and that one. Now again arrange those closing points. Replace here. Replace over here. And this one replace there. And then I want to add some sort of direction. So let's for the last one. That's the circle here, and I want to use that as tangent direction. Let's go for preview and confirm. This looks really nice. Okay. So let's hide these. Hide that set. Let's join those. That would be this surface and that surface. Confirm. Then make a mirror. I want to mirror this along that plane. Confirm and again join those two. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.